Which one? Right hand on the no. left? It's right yeah. over left. Right hand where? Right, 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 right over left. <laughs> Big Bop Gator. Go Gator. <laughs> Well, Mr. Murray, uh, I want to thank you for agreeing to sit with this interview with us. It's a real <laughs> honor to be able to talk with you. Um, mm -hmm. I apologize in advance. I said I've learned this, and so other people will be asking questions too. Yeah. But mm -hmm. one of the things we wanted to, to know and to be able to tell our students was, when did you first get involved in the movement? How did I? Yes, sir. How and why? Well, well. Well, I tell you, back back in them days, or oh, they were they were, you know, they were treating us so bad. Tell so, uh, the burning crosses, you know, and threatening people and and, and people out and bombing them. So, so we said we had to kind of, and we had uh, Charles Evans coming down. We had to protect him. So we did begin to do that. So we were drawing up. So when, um, you, when you say we, can you tell me tell us a little bit about who the we were like? Who who's involved? Oh, it was, it was a bunch of us. I that's a lot of so many of them. I can't remember. We had I think we had we had quite a few. But uh, well, we don't tell us exactly how many, but we had quite a few. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of the people that got involved. You, know, you mentioned Charles Evers coming down and having to protect him. Were a lot of the people that you're talking about, were they military veterans? Oh, some of them. Some of them. Some of them. But I don't know if they want me to tell their names or not. I don't know whether they want me to do that. Okay. That's okay. But you know, some of them I would tell their names. I know they, I know they, didn't, they don't mind because he was... Mr. Murray, before you uh, got involved with the deacons, what were you doing? What kind of work I was doing? What were you doing? What, yeah, what kind of work? What, what were you doing in the, in the community? Before you like, got involved with the deacons? Like, uh, like what? Like, what were you just working and married? Yeah, and, yeah I, I was married. Had, and, had, and going about your had, business? I had three children working for... Millionaire. I was foreman was on, his, on his ranch. He had a ranch. Had to get. He had a cattle, horses, and stuff. Out of his foreman. And then, then what happened when the civil rights movement started? What happened? Like what, where were you when the civil rights movement started in Nashville? I was there. I said, I was working the same job. What was going on? What was the happening? What? What? Oh, it was uh, back to what? Like uh, what? Mm -hmm. like, you mean like uh you were telling me the other day that uh uh when 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 the civil rights movement got going you you became a part of it yeah and and you were working for these whites but yeah. they never bothered you no that's right i, was, I mean your that, boss didn't mind that's what i say he's looking i was a it was his foreman and he knew it but he didn't bother me about it mm -hmm. so what did you start to do what what were you doing that 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 he didn't mind you doing it well, he, he didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay. And a lot of times, no, a lot of people weren't supposed to know what I was doing. Okay. I couldn't tell them what I was doing. So what were you doing? I mean, how did you get started? What? Not, not once you dig. How did you get into this? Well, they, they uh, well, well, Leroy and and and, and they just asked me to join them, you know. Yeah. Somebody asked you to join? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And did you? Because I was. Go ahead. It, was, it wasn't many of us when I started. It wasn't about half a dozen of us. Yes. When I joined. Did, did you try to register to vote? Yo, yeah, before that. Yeah, okay, that's what we're talking about. What did you do before you got into the deacons? You were trying to vote? Yeah, well, I tried to vote, and she told me she, I couldn't. She said I couldn't vote, so I had to. Uh, well, I, I tried to go down the register to vote. She said, you have to interpret the Constitution of the United States to my satisfaction. I said, which one? We'd have had two or three. Which one you talk about? She said, uh, 
and said, anyway, you got to do it to my satisfaction. I said, I don't know what your satisfaction will be. So, and I didn't know the Constitution, so I went to the Catholic priest. And he, 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 he told me what the Constitution. And I went back down, and she voted. And uh, she, she signed me. And I, 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 I interpreted it to her, and she let me vote. Oh, so, so what did they, they want, the, the people, the white people who control the voting, wanted you to, to interpret the, the Constitution of the United interpret States. interpret the Constitution. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I didn't know how. So I went to the priest. Oh, you didn't know how, but you could read and write. You oh, didn't oh know. yeah. Oh, yeah. I could read. And you went to the Catholic, Catholic? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, to the Black Catholic Church? Yeah, oh, yeah, Black Catholic Church. Black Catholic. Uh-huh, Reverend Morrison. Oh, Reverend Morrison. Yeah. Okay, who shows up in the Civil Rights Movement. Yeah, right. uh-huh. Reverend Morrison taught yeah. you how to uh, interpret the code. Uh, how, how, that's right. Uh-huh. Did you get, get the right to vote? Yes, uh-huh. You registered? I registered to vote ever since. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what else you would do? Were you helping other people to register to vote? Oh, yes. Get uh-huh. involved? Oh, yeah. I tell them how to do it, and I cam down into it more. You know. Oh, uh-huh. so you might have been an NAACP man. Oh, I was a, I was a head. Well, oh, yes, indeed. My wife and I was... You, you were we never, yeah, we were, oh, they ended up, yeah, we had, we started it. We, put, we started it after the new one, you know. We had one old one. Okay, you started the new end Yeah, we were. You uh, wanted to start yeah, it the yeah, final? for the new one, yeah. What happened? Yeah. Like what? Like, how did you get it started? I didn't start it, okay. you know, but after uh, we all got together and, and decided to, you know, I'll just go to the meeting mostly. Okay, you start going to the meeting. Yeah. And what were the meetings about? Oh, we. What, what, what was the meeting about? Yeah. How did what was happening how, at the meeting? How did well we we would oh we have we would we would decide what we was going to do. Okay. And how we was going to do it. Mm-hmm. Whether we we're going to boycott. Mm. And uh, so. And, and that's the way it go, you know. We and we had, we couldn't have a meeting because they would they would the clans wouldn't let us. We they we didn't let, we couldn't let them know where we were gonna meet. So no we had to meet the clans. Oh. So we voted. We had to we had to had a meeting in different places. Never had to meet in one place. Well, who was the clan? Who was it? Yes, sir. White man with hoods on the head. Huh? <laughs> White man with hoods on the head. White man with hoods on the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cause we knew we knew what it was. Cause, no, you know. no, I, I, I don't know much. Don't we, know. we knew who they so, were. So, okay. And, so, uh, so you got involved, and you and your wife would go to. Oh the yeah, my wife was my wife was and man, we were really good friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mr. Murray, you mentioned that there is an old NAACP. Yeah, old one. Before this one, they it it it, 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 it went away. This is Audrey Mackers NAACP, the the one that started to uh, with in '54 when the when the uh, the when the uh, school integration. 1954, Audrey Mackel of Mackel Film Home. That, that's the big, the first NAACP. The first one. Yeah. Yeah, but he they, I don't know. He, 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 for years we didn't have any. Yeah, they ran them out of town. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, they ran them out of town. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So, so you weren't involved at that time. No, I was. I, I was. I, I don't. I don't know much about that one. Yeah. So, what about this next NAACP? You part of that? Oh yes, yeah, I was running that. Oh, oh, Metcalf and Charles Evers. Metcalf. Uh, Metcalf. Okay, but before yeah. Charles ever come in, Metcalf is running, running. When you going to the meeting? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we were. Okay. Then we sent them. George him. Metcalf was the president of the local branch of it. Yeah. Uh huh. And who else was leading it? Oh, we had Reverend Howard, Reverend Reverend uh, Reverend Leon Howard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, oh, we had, but he wasn't president. He just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was. I was. I was president of Deacons for about two weeks while Stokes went to California. Okay, now you are into mm. the deacons. Yeah. Okay. What made the deacons? What made y'all start the deacons? Just try to keep the white folks from killing us. What white folks? You want me to call their name? No, not by name. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's up to you. Because the, 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 the white man I'll was fine, 100%. Uh, yeah, I had no problem with him at all. Yeah, he owned, he owned uh, Dundee. Wow. You know what Dundee? He, he showed him Dundee. Okay. Uh -huh. If you don't mind me asking though, Mr. Murray, I mean, you don't have to call out names if you don't want. Mm. But what kind of white people were kind of behind the Klan? Was it like poor people? Was it like chamber of commerce people? Poor, most of the poor, what were the rich white folks weren't behind. The rich white folks? No, they, they didn't have a problem with the rich white folks. And I always, I always work with rich ones. I never work with poor ones. Because they always don't take what you got. If you got, if you, if you got, a, you know, they were, you just couldn't work for them. You know, cause they, they, they wanted the same thing you got. But the rich man, you didn't have to worry about him. And they didn't, they didn't want you to have a good job. You couldn't, uh, you, you know, you know, you couldn't have no job and. You, you couldn't, the only, only time is a grocery store, you go in there, you had to be a porter to clean up. No police. I, 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 I had my convertible, I went to the drive in after, after the law was passed, you know. They, they uh, I drove up there and asked for something. They come out there and seen I was black, she, she threw it on the ground. I went to the movie, went upstairs. I, I, was, I always go, black folks go upstairs. I went downstairs. But the white people go, she told me, she said, oh, the black folks is downstairs. I said, I don't look no black folks. I just left them watching them down the street. I said, I come and look at the movie. Which movie was this, The Rich or The Clark? The Clark. The Clark. Mm -hmm. On Main Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, come on, ask me some more questions. So with the deacons, you organized. We, yeah, we uh, did that, and we would. If the, it, it, like my wife was working at the uh, hospital, and and the, the doctor out there wouldn't let her come home one night because it was. He said it was after her. And I don't know how he knew. And uh, so we went out there and spent the night there just to be sure nobody come out there tomorrow. The deacons went out to the hospital. Yeah, we got to the hospital. To defend your wife. Uh huh. And if Charles Evans come down with Jackson, we we would uh, uh play at the play, drive back, file him back. That's, that's my that's my main job was patrolling. So yesterday we interviewed Char Mr. Charlie White uh, in Jonesboro about the deacons there. Mm -hmm. And he told us how the deacons would patrol and set up, you know, perimeters, uh, defend people. Uh -huh. Can you talk about how that worked here? Like, how did you operate? Like, when, for, so for example, when they announced that Charles Evers was coming down, how did the deacons mobilize to protect him? Well, we just go to go. We just, if he's in the churches, we'd have guns with guns outside, trip, watching, so long as nobody come out here. When he leave, we'd follow him in his car. And the, and the sheriff told me, he says, Okay, you doing things? Cause there's too many of them. I can't protect you. Even the sheriff would just say, "Hey, bear, hey, bear." The sheriff named Hey Bear. Mm -hmm. At that it's time, it's a French spelling. Hey Bear. Mm -hmm. However you spell it, but it's a French name. Mm -hmm. Who was the sheriff of Adam County at that point? So, so Mr. Murray, and, and I was going. I was going home. I, I went home. They, I was a deacon then. I was, I, you know, in my, I'll show you when I go down to Linwood, when y'all go down there. My, my house was right on the street. And they parked the car load up right there. I, I couldn't even get in my driveway. Who was this parked in the Klan? Mm hmm. In front of your house? Yep. Mm -hmm. Down on the elbow street. Yeah, they parked there. This right. is the same night you bring in your wife? No, no, no. This is, no, this is another time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another time I went home, it was a, it was a big flag burning around the corner from my house. You know, uh, around the corner, mm -hmm. big flag, um, not a flag, a fire burning, cross burning. 
it was from the paper mill. I know some guy at the paper mill because that was that stuff the paper mill used. I throw the rope around it. I was cowboy, and then I had I throw the rope around and drug it down, throw it back in the number six balloon in the hole, put it out, and throw it. Down. This is something burning in front of you. Huh? It was a cross. A cross. A cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In front mm-hmm. of your house. Well, not far from my house. Not far. From not far from my house. But that's a black community, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. They Not burn a cross in the community. Uh, you, you know, they burn it for the neighborhood, too. For the neighborhood. Yeah, so I, uh, I, I put a rope around it and put it, I put it out, put a rope around the cross, throw it back in the hole. It might be still there now. Oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. so this, this, these clans were coming after you, or coming after Oh, yeah, they, uh, they are, yeah, but they didn't, that's, they would just try to, you know, scare me to death, you know, which, which that was um, impossible because I wasn't scared of nobody. Okay. You know? Now, did, did the plan, I mean, did the Deacons start before uh, George Metcalf bombing? What happened? Oh, yeah. You you, you, yeah. you were, the Deacons didn't get, get started until after Metcalf got bombed, huh? I don't remember. Okay. Right. okay. We, uh-huh. we got it. We mm-hmm. got it. So, so you start. Well, I'm sure it was. Mm-hmm. But the NWCP was working. The NWCP was working. Yeah, uh, part of yeah, we were. Um, vote, we or? were. We was a branch from them. That's all. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You were getting people to register to vote and things. Like in that? fact, all the NWCP member would would help us out anytime we need guards. He'd help. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so it wasn't much different than them at the time. So the NWCP would help out the deacons. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So they worked together. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I know I've seen that uh, Wallace Jackson Senior. Well, yeah. Wallace Jackson Senior. Uh-huh. I I saw a movie about him being at a deacon meeting when they were getting together. So so, but Wallace was what the secretary of the NAACP. Who was that? A vice president, Wallace Jackson. Yeah, the he, one that he, got was, killed. He, he was secretary. He was the secretary. <laughs> yeah. And Metcalf was the president. That's before before May May. This, four, is, four. this is the new NAACP. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so uh, with with uh, Wallace Jackson uh, and Metcalf, and they were the NAACP. They were working with 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 the civil rights organization. Yeah, and then, but all of us was all of us belong to the NAACP. All of us belong to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when when they bombed Metcalf, what happened? Oh, it was a mess. It was a mess. Yeah. And when it, this know, is August 1965, yeah. this month, 1965, uh, when they bombed it. What happened? Yeah. Well, we just parade and boycotted. We, we boycotted the town and, and uh, built a, another building. We started a grocery store, you know, for just where we had to go to the white folks to get the grocery. No, this is doing the boycott. The, uh-huh. the community book, uh, grocery store, what is it called? Yeah, community grocery where was it located? On St. Catherine. Oh, where about? Right, let me see, right near, if I can tell you. It's almost in the same block that Metcalf lived. Same block as what now? Metcalf lived. Okay, at, that's where number nine is. On, on, on this end. Yeah, by, mm. by the Ace Theater? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right where it was, used to be. Yeah, that's where it used to be. The mm. old, the, by the old black movie house called the Ace yeah. Theater. Yeah, uh, well, that's where it, Okay. Okay. Bit, so. okay. Daughter was okay. So and, so Metcalf gets bombed, and and this is when you all decide you got to form uh, yeah. the Ku Clan at the top. Why did he get bombed? Uh, why did he get bombed? On Brown Avenue. Hmm? On, on, Avenue. on Metcalf. Yeah. Why did Metcalf? Get I don't bombed? know. What I forgot now. Okay. It, he got bombed at the tire plant where he was working yeah. Armstrong Tire yeah, and Road. But, but he he didn't get bombed at the plant. He had left. Say none? Yeah, it left the plant. Who? That that's uh Metcalf too? Because the story is, is that uh what's his name? Wallace Jackson had left the plant. But yeah, but Metcalf was, was at the plant. I don't uh at, okay. Uh, maybe so. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I got we'll we'll look at that history. Okay. Okay. So what happened after after Metcalf gets bombed? Like I said, we just boycotted and people just we just didn't didn't go to the start didn't go to those those stores you know we go out of town to the grocery and okay 
So, so you, yeah. you started you started a boycott. Yeah, but I couldn't boycott because, but you know they knew how because the man I worked they knew how he was, so I could go anywhere. And then we didn't let no, after we, and we kept them from boycott. That's one thing that we can do. What that? Didn't let them boycott. And we made them boycott. You you made who boycott? Black people. How? Beat the butt if they didn't do it. If they didn't. <laughs> You, you did what? We'd beat their butt. Yeah. Get, we were going to them stores. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I know my grandfather got caught up in that. He he was Ed Montgomery. He was an arrogant man. He'd go shopping where he wanted. I had to beg the deacons not to whip it because I was here at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I had to beg it. Well, beg that's right. We didn't like We made them boycott. You mm -hmm. made them boycott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That then worked? The few that didn't. Yeah, it worked. The few that didn't. Mm -hmm. But that was a few. That's very few. Mm -hmm. that, that didn't work. That very, that didn't. But I had to go. But I did. But they understood it, you know, because I was waiting for a man, that, a rich man that was putting bad with us, you know. So, yeah. so you're saying you couldn't borrow a car? Uh, you I, didn't have to borrow a car? I, I, well, I had, what well, when you were on the farm? Okay. With, with 20 people working, you farmer. Okay. You're if working I, on a farm if, for Yeah, you. if I need if I need hundred bales of hay, I gotta go. I gotta go. We didn't have it, so I had to go. Okay. But they understood that. I explained it to them. They understood and they understood Mr. Carlin didn't bother. Uh -huh. And was on his side, you know. And but he kept silent about it. He didn't say anything. Okay. Okay. In fact, this when my my wife died, their children came to my funeral. Okay. I was like one of the family of them. That's your personal relationship with, with yeah. rich white people yeah. here. Mm -hmm. But you're catching, you, you, you're almost getting death threats from what other kind of white folks? You know what kind? <laughs> the worst kind? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, such, yeah. such as? Uh -huh. such, we were talking about them kind the other day. What, what, what kind were they? You know, what you, kind of white folks were they? What poor white folks, I call Poor white folks. Yeah. And you used to tell me about you have this discussion with poor white folks. You call it poor white trash. Yeah. Yeah, we we call them, yeah, call them, we call them everything worse than that. Mm. So you you have problems from these poor white folks? Always. Okay. But what kind of problems? Like I say, you you go you 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 know, they were they would uh no, you couldn't go to, you couldn't get a job, you couldn't do nothing, you know. And, and the white, the rich wife wouldn't buy the poor one would come, John the Cluck come, come and try to do your harm. Mm. Mm. What about the police? They were, they were, half of them was was Ku Klan, Klan. What's that? Half of the police was Klan. Half of the police yeah. were Klan? Yeah. Wow. So how could you trust the police? You didn't. That's why we had. That's why we had our own. That, that's what Dickens. We was our police. We our own police. Mm. So, so uh, now you have formed the Dickens. The, the Dickens are formed uh, like a police, like right after George Metcalf bombing. Yeah, like our own police department. Sir. Okay. We protect our people. You you formed the Dickens to start protecting the people. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes, you know, they, they like like they won't threaten you. We go and we keep them bombing the churches. We go to guard the churches, you know, at night. Mm. We kept busy. We had a lot of work to do. Yeah. How y'all operate like that? Well, we just have our meetings, decide who who going to guard this church and, and send, and send them on the on the deity, like police department. You you organize like an army? Yeah, like like a well, like an army, a police and, department. And you have assignments. And yeah. What what kind of, what? Give me an idea. Like, uh, like I say, we have us, we'd have a meeting at night, mm -hmm. and we say, uh, "Well, they got a church down there." And I say, "There'll be a lot of people." I say, so we'd send six, eight men out there with high-fired rifles and stand guard, see if any white folks come by there. Uh. And we had been number had been there, they come by and stop. We're gonna shoot them. Did, did they come by? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. They. they they stopped coming by. They used to come by the meetings. And they used to burn the churches. Used to burn the churches. Yeah. Uh, what church got bombed? Oh, well, oh, I don't know, so many, two yeah, or three okay. of them. Yeah, a lot of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, we, we, we know that a little bit yeah, about them. Yeah, you know about them. Uh, uh, a few churches getting bombed. Uh, I, I can't remember the name right. of them. Right, that's all right. Mm -hmm. That's all right. But if they, if they didn't bomb, we, we, God will keep from doing it. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. After a while, because they had burned so many, you're you deacons now and you're protecting people yeah. in the church to keep them from burning. That's right. Did mm -hmm. they stop? Oh yeah, it's not. Oh, oh, oh. Was, was the deacons? Oh, they 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 knew guns. they knew what was going on. Hmm? They knew how how the deacon worked. They were doing, They didn't. And we all had rifles. We all had trucks okay. trucks with rifles in the back. They all knew that. Huh? Yeah. The, the clan knew that. The wife well, knew that. Well, we 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 kept them in the truck all the time. You know, that time everybody you know had rifles in the back of the truck. Mm. So we had my truck had a gun rack in the back. Mm. My car had a gun rack in the back. Mm. Mm -hmm. so I, had, not, not, I had a host like I had a Western style host on my hip. Oh. Mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of sidearm do you carry? I, at that time? Yes, I had 38. 38. Mm -hmm. At that time. Mm -hmm. and, and most of the deacons use high powered rifles. Yeah, and right. Uh, Otis was good with, 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 with rifles. Otis? Otis. Otis. Otis yeah. Uh -huh. What about Otis? Otis was, 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 he was a he was a, he was a we we he was could shoot good. He didn't miss no he didn't miss no target. We he's the best target shooter you had. Oh. So, Otis Fleming. Mm -hmm. So so Otis Fleming was a deacon? Oh yeah, uh-huh. Oh, okay. And the best best shooter you had? Uh -huh. Okay. Who 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 was some of the other people you remember that was deacon? They gone now. Yeah, Otis gone. gone now. Yeah. What what was he like? I mean, where was he? Where was Otis Fleming from? Like, what was his background? I didn't I didn't know his background. You know, just oh, I didn't Otis, know what I knew it, man. Otis much younger than you. You look, yeah. That's, you, I, how old were you now? I mean, ninety one in, in in October. How much? Ninety nine in October. In October, twenty nineteen. Uh huh. Ninety nine. In a few months, in two months, you'll be ninety nine. Ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So. How old were you then when you was in the civil rights movement? Were you Otis? Oh, oh, yeah, then? I was about 30, 40. I was about, okay. I was, Otis was younger than you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of them gone younger than me. I All had, of them were young? Yeah, I had, I had uh, five brothers. Hmm. This is unusual. Hmm. Uh, uh, these are mainly young men in their 20s. Mm -hmm. And you were in your late 30s or what have you? You yeah. were in your upper 30s. Uh, yeah, that's right. That was my 30s. I was 40. But why did, you, why did you get into a movement with these young men? Well, they had, I, had, they, I mean, how did you join them? I just, was, I just wanted to do that. You just wanted to do that? Yeah. Oh, you just wanted I just to do kind, that? I was, kind of, I was kind of a tough boy. <laughs> you just wanted to do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You was kind of what now? I was kind of tough. I, I was kind I, of tough? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I mean, you couldn't prove it sitting down home in the chair. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so, so now we got the deacons going to protect uh, people, the meeting, the churches, and and you actually stopped the clan from 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 meddling you. Oh yeah, we that's mm -hmm. and and the sheriff, uh, the police. Did, did you have any problems out of the police? No, anymore? not a, not a bit. Not a bit. Who's police? Did bother at all? What's the what's the some of the time you told me the other day about uh, uh, you and another man that used to live right next yeah, to you? Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, we just well he was a a caller. I, I we, them 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 big ones. I I, I called him. He dead now. Anyway. Yeah. What but was so, his name? Carter. He was running, Carter. Carter. He's running no, grocery no, store. No, no, your neighbor here. Oh, Leroy. Leroy Hunt. Leroy Hunt. Hunt mm -hmm. Senior. Yeah. And and you was Leroy Hunt a, a yes, deacon? Yeah, yeah, yes, you was a member of the deacon. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and what happened? What y'all do? Well, we, well, well, he was staying in the store. He had a grocery store, and he was staying in the back. So we was like we were coming home, and we had to pay his house coming coming this is home. This a white man in his grocery store. Yeah. Okay. So we coming home when I Leroy said, "Let's light it up." <laughs> that was Leroy told me. Let's light it up. Yeah. Uh huh. So we. He believe I drove. He drove by and slowed up, and so we just we just sent a few bullets in there. He shot back at us and hit the car. 
put some holes in them. Next day we had them holes fixed. Oh, oh, put holes in your car. Yeah, he hit, he hit our car. But and, he, and the next day you had them fixed. Yeah, we had them fixed. Okay. okay. And, and we, this this was on on what street now? Martin Luther King. Yeah, they call it back then. They didn't call it Martin. Fine. Pine Street. Then. Pine Street. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's right short in front of that, you know where Brick House was. Well, the Brick House, where it was located, it was uh, Brick House. Yeah. And by the Brick House now, they got a, what kind of store is that now? Dollar Store. Dollar Store? Uh-huh. Is it, is it Dollar General? Yeah. yeah. Corner, Family Dollar, that's what it Family is. Family Dollar. Uh-huh. On the corner of Martin Luther King and George F. West. Yeah. Now. And, uh, see, and see, I was right. Yeah, and from, George F. West. From now on up, up that, take all that hill. Mm. From from the you know by the dollar store, that was our property. That's where that was my uh, all the, all the, all them houses up on the hill. They mm-hmm. belong to us. They still do. Oh yeah. Belong to family. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what where did the Dickens hold that meeting? Oh no one place I think. No one place. No. You know one place? Mm-mm. You know of any place where they have? Oh yeah. Um, 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 my, we do we do it at that people house at my house here oh, the Dickens house. Dickens house. Okay, you don't know, can you remember a location? Where they might have met? Well, we used to be on Franklin Street, up, up, up on Franklin Street. On Franklin Street? Mm-hmm. Was it upstairs? NAACP used to meet up there too. Okay, on Franklin Street? Yeah, but we didn't meet, we meet that, but what, you can't, we you can't remember it because we wouldn't, we wouldn't do it, but once we go somewhere else next time. Okay, on Franklin Street, across from the Savoy Grill. Yeah. Uh-huh. Upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. I heard about that on yeah. Franklin Street, uh-huh. right across from. The, it was at a doctor's office, was it not? I don't know what that. Okay. What that was. We'll find out. We'll uh-huh. find out. I think it so, was at a doctor's so, office. So, but we are. See, we had it. We couldn't meet. We didn't want to meet in one place because the clans are bombing you. You know, so okay. if they knew we were going to set a bomb, if they knew we were going to be there, so we did every day we go to different places. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Last mm-hmm. night we were talking to a deacon in Johnsburg, and he said, "Wherever the clan meet, we was there." <laughs> <laughs> no, so we, wherever you meet over here, the clan would be there. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't meet where the clan meet. He, he told. He told the tale. He wouldn't want me to go out in the woods. Well, the clan would be down in the woods, and we didn't go out in the woods. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Murray talked about holding meetings in different places mm-hmm. so that the clan would know. Uh-huh. How did the deacons maintain secrecy to make sure that the others, the, the white people, wouldn't know what you were doing? How did he maintain them? Well, we, we, we well, we're reading it. They just weren't going. You couldn't get a, you couldn't get a, um, somebody more a deacon or end up the person to stitch. That was that was out of the question. Beyond the point. Did anyone ever ever snitch though? Did anyone? No, well, we never got attacked. But we've been so advantage we didn't. Okay. Uh-huh. You said something a month ago about you were vice president of the Deacons at one time. Yeah, just for a couple of weeks. For a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Why were you president? Well, Stokes was going to, going to California to pick up a car. Oh. Uh-huh. Stokes went out to California? Yeah. Uh, pick up a car. Yeah, they gave him a car. Somebody gave him a car. Then uh, gave us a car. Stokes uh, went to pick it up. Gave the Deacons a car. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, do you know who that somebody was? No, Stokes? No, when did, did you ask me? It was me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know what I'm talking about, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I, I took yeah. stock and dip. Yeah. You remember dip? Yeah, indeed. Uh-huh. You remember dip? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I went seen just the way he died. Okay. Oh, we were good friends. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were you were president. What did you have to do? Well, I didn't have much to do. I went on for a couple of weeks. I just had well, I only had one meeting I was called with Daniel. Trying to uh, Recruiting. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Stoke brought back a car. Do you remember what color that car? Was? No, I don't remember. It was red. Was it? Yeah. I don't remember. What yeah. It was. Yeah. So, so we take a pause. Mr. Murray yeah. talked earlier about recruiting. How would the deacons recruit members? We go to churches. We go to churches. Go to churches. Yeah. 
and tell them how what thing how things were. And most of them ain't getting treated so bad. You always get a few. Were there a lot of members of the Deacons in Natchez? Huh? Were there was there, was there a lot of members? Um, we had we had quite a few. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like how like a ballpark figure like how many about how many would you usually five hundred five hundred no one hundred about one hundred about okay. one hundred wow. I made about one hundred but we but NWCB member would help you fill in mm -hmm. if you need them. See that's interesting because um, some of the deacons that we talked to um, well in Jonesboro did the NWCB work with the deacons or not as much. Uh, did we pick that up last night? We, we were asking about about the NAACP because the pattern was that most of the uh, uh, no, they they started to, they start these were World War Two. I mean World War Two in Vietnam, not Vietnam, Korean mm -hmm. veterans who had felt that they had earned their freedom and their rights. Uh, they were pissed. Uh, this this they were uh, uh, angry. At, about not being able to have their citizenship and rights and what have you. So, but the rest of the uh, uh, areas like Bogalusa and, and, and Fairley and, and Natchez and other places who started uh, uh, Deacon's organization, they were first like NAACP people. Because in, yeah. in, in Lance Hill's book, you get to see that. Uh, the interaction between with the deacons and the uh, and in, in many cases like in, in uh, Bogalusa, the NAACP president becomes a deacon. Yeah, all, okay. All all deacons in the NAACP. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's because uh, they they are now asking that the original deacons have formed out of out of reaction to uh, oppression and not getting their rights, mm -hmm. but. As they begin to hear about the, the original deacons, and the original deacons come to areas and go to areas to try to help them set up, then you help in NAACP uh, types and right. go to the league, uh, you know, people who are, are getting, form a league to get people registered to vote and that kind of thing. So you, you'll see a pattern of, 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 of NAACP people becoming deacons and also assisting and helping deacons. Or inter interaction. Was your wife in the NAACP? Uh, was your wife in the NAACP? Oh yes, indeed. She was one. Of the, she was one of the head one. Of the head one. She was. I mean, she was regular. Hello. Hey. My daughter. Yeah, my wife. Yeah, she was a. So, was your wife in the NAACP? Yes, indeed. Yeah, indeed. She helped to organize it. She helped help him. Uh -huh. She and she and Mamie Lee and Mazik and all of them got together. Cause Mamie Lee, she was a she was a, she was secretary for the NWCP. Or she was a, I don't know Mamie Lee was an organizer. Mamie Lee was one of the main ones. Mamie Lee Mazik. Yeah. Uh, did you did you they don't, they don't say nothing about her. Did, did, didn't, you said she was the That's secretary? That's what Charles ever stayed when you were down here, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. You said she was the secretary. She, no, she, I think she was before uh, this other lady. Yeah, in, in the new organization. Uh -huh. She was one of the officers she, in the new Yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, Charles she was. Charles Jackson, she, Senior, and George Mitchell. Uh -huh. Yeah, she was the main one. Okay. And, and so uh, you you have the... the uh, President seat for a minute, and what happens when Stokes comes back to, from from California? He, he's got this car, and what you all do? Well, the same old thing we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, did, did he bring anything else? I I don't remember. You can't remember. Oh. Okay, uh, it's in the book uh -huh. about what he brought. Okay. Yeah. They they say he brought some what you all needed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And some money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he, uh, you, you say, he's high, you, when you seen Stokes, you say that long ago? Yeah, I, I, he called me every now and then. And, uh -huh. uh, we were just looking at a, a, 
a, a, a, a little movie of Stokes and, and you with Barbara Lewis, the lady from Bogalusa, uh -huh. when you presented your rifle. Yeah. We're looking at a movie about that. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, you don't know we got a movie, you, huh? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why did you give that rifle to 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 the Barbara Hicks people down in in, in Bogalusa? Why did you feel you had to do that? Because they helped us out by helping us to get organized. Okay. And they deserved it. Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Murray, one of the questions I was interested in was with the NAACP, now earlier, about 10 years before the Deacons were organized in, in Natchez and Bogalusa, there was a famous case in North Carolina where Robert F. Williams, who's the NAACP leader, uh, advocated armed defense uh -huh. against the Klan. And it was a controversy within the NAACP about that. Yeah. You know, do you ever have those um, controversies? Like, did some people in the national NAACP or other NAACP people say, oh, you should carry guns? Or well, Yeah, that, that's what, see, we were, that's why we are, uh, the Deacons, like, the Deacons and the NAACP was just like this, but not for, we didn't call. We don't call ourselves the NAACP. We right. call it. We 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 we. So that was that. That was a good way for us to, the ones that felt like I did, to pull away, from I mean, do our own thing, get our own club. And so the deacon, when the deacons come along, that was a great thing for us to do. Just like, like almost like a branch from the NAACP. Wow. Like the armed branch. Yeah. But you couldn't. You know we. Uh, we didn't say that, you know, but that's what it was. So, Mr. Murray, you mentioned you protected churches and meetings. What kinds of um, political activities were the deacons involved in, in addition to, you talked about voter registration, mm -hmm. um, the boycott. What are other kinds of types of activities were you involved in? That's not all. That's it. We, I was kept, uh, that kept us busy. Was, yeah. Because, well... Well, just with a few of us, we didn't, you know, we couldn't do too much. We could we, the deacon, that kept us busy. We always had something to do. Did you begin to see changes in the black community in terms of people getting more, having more courage to, to organize, to speak out, to get involved oh, in politics? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, we, we uh, it, it would have worked out all right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we could, like I said, we, and, and we could wear our guns on the side. We could carry our guns, they'd pull us and balls and that just... Were there any um, deacons who ran for uh, political office? Like, you could, couldn't he, uh, we couldn't even vote hard. Huh? <laughs> you don't want to vote. Hey, what, you going to run for office and couldn't vote? 2018? We, hmm? No, we couldn't vote. Oh, you couldn't vote. We couldn't vote back then. Your color, huh? uh -huh. Like I said, the lady told me, and I was, it was a very few, man, they would let a very few people, like the Bob, upper class, like a doctor or something, they'd let him vote, but, you know, but the regular people couldn't vote. I think you're asking, in, in, mm -hmm. later, in later years, though, mm -hmm. did members of the deacons um, ever later become like a city council or? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You run for office. That's it. You, you see, you had a question you want to ask me? Okay. Yes. Uh, huh? uh, you remember Sandy Neal? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You, Do you know when he took over the deacon for the pension? When he were? He took over. He, You know, he became president. Yeah. And Stokes was also the spokesman that. Yeah, that's right. And I can remember him saying that uh, Stokes was kind of radical and they had to kind of hold him down. Do you know anything about that? Well, Stokes Stokes wasn't, wasn't a mean person. He never was because, you know, he was, cause I grew up with him, but uh, Sandy was little. Okay. You know, he would, you know. Stokes, Stokes was a, I, know, well, I grew up with Stokes when I, you know, when I was a teenager, you know, so 
Like I said, you know, he never was a, I used to say to protect him when he was little, when he was young, you know. But Miss Sandy was all right. Uh -huh. Mr. Levy, I mean, Mr. Murray, uh -huh. what happened to, there's something about how a bunch of people, civil rights workers, were, were arrested and sent to prison. What, what was that about? Well, you were there? You were right there when that happened? No, uh -huh. No, I wasn't. I didn't go to that. I didn't go to that, that meeting. Okay. I, I didn't go to that. I didn't go to that. Uh, you didn't go to that march. No, I, I didn't go. But I, you, I, you, I I didn't march. I was, I let them young folks do that. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you knew about it. You, oh, you, oh, you yeah, knew yeah. about it. Oh yeah, I knew. Mm, I you knew. heard about it. You you knew they got arrested. Yeah, I, yeah. I heard. I heard the same night. Okay. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? What, what happened? Well. They just went to, well, they just, they just brown them up and sent them to pen for no reason at all. Mm. They arrested all these, all these youngsters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're mostly young folks. You know, old people didn't, what, what meant old folks marching, you know? But they didn't arrest you? No, I wasn't there. Oh, they would have. Oh. They would have. As a deacon, you weren't there and they were marching? Well, I'd call, I'd call Mr. Carpenter. He'd have got me out. Okay, you had, to, you had to be out on the farm working. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you, did the diggers go to any other town, any other places to protect anybody or meet or what? No. To that, other meetings? Uh-uh. You didn't go out of town? No, just, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't. Only, didn't only, only, for, only for patrol area. Hmm? Only like we were going to, you know, follow it, Charles. There was a, some some big, big people coming to Baptist, you know. Who were who are some of the people that the deacons protected other than Charles Evers or in addition to Charles Evers? Every, oh, every, every, any, any, uh, the, all the, the preachers had a big meeting at churches, you know. We had to, so we had, to hit, right? we had 100 people in the church. And uh, we didn't want to throw a bomb in there, you know, so we had to stand outside and watch. Come to your church? Huh? Would you, were you ever scared that the KKK would come attack people at church? Yeah, uh -huh. so we had to stand outside and see that they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. She asked you if you were scared that they would come, that the KKK yeah. would come to church. Yeah, uh huh. And you, they would. You, you were scared? Uh, was I scared? No, no, uh uh. No, uh, I'm like, like I wasn't in the service. I was never scared. I just wanted to do what I had to do. I was, you know, the uh, funny thing was, something like that, you'd never be afraid. I don't know if you've ever been in that particular when The Japanese used to shoot at those sides. I would never was afraid of it. I was uh, all I want to do is shoot him. Mm. So it was the same thing with, back in them days, you know. You, you don't be afraid, you just do it. Okay, so you, you were a war veteran too? What, uh, what, about, what war was that? World War Two. You were the you were the World War II veteran. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean in the World War. Yeah, two many battles, many many battles. We shot out two hundred seventy seven planes. Our our uh, you know our uh, not just the ship, you know ships that swallowed around. Okay, you so said ship. Tell us about you were in the navy. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, yeah, well a little bit. Well. I, 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 joined, I joined, I got on a ship in Pearl Harbor and, uh, and went on a shakedown. They really just built that ship, it was new. You know, we, we didn't have no battleship. They built that ship in New Jersey and all of, in the New Jersey, Wisconsin, Missouri, and our way. The war had been, been going on a couple of years, you know, before he went into action. So you were on that first crew on the, on mm -hmm. the New Jersey? Yeah, when the, when the ship. Called a shakedown. Mm -hmm. So I was on in, so and then we went that one that went on the Pacific, down the Pacific. And you, you how did you come to be a navy? Uh there wasn't enough black people in the navy back then. I know it. I didn't want to go I didn't want to go on I didn't want to crawl around on the ground with snakes and things. How did you come to be a, get in the navy? He just told you you had any problem with the well, snakes. I, I would, I would, <laughs> Well, well, they, they come put um, all my brothers. Then none of my brothers passed World War II. Yeah. I had five brothers. No, but I, 
remember they, they wouldn't, wouldn't look like people in the Navy. Oh, if you're small enough in it to go. You yeah. had to bed pass oh, test. So you were small. You were a steward. So you had to, I was a steward. Yeah. That's my, but yeah, everybody got a battle station. Yes, sir. Like a sailor, he, he painted the ships and going like that. But about, he had battle station, so we, that's where it was. I think Dory Miller was a steward, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. But he had a battle station. Right. Mm-hmm. How did I don't you know what he did. How huh? did that's how come he knew how to shoot a gun, because he used it properly. Well, I'm gonna make. Mm-hmm. How did you join the Navy? You joined in that? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. And they sent me to a. Uh, had uh, uh, Wait a No, not had no. Camp Shelby. Somebody down there. Well, you, know. you must have scored big on the test then. Well, you enough to get in. On the test. Enough to get in. And then you got to be healthy. Oh, yeah. uh, my brother didn't pass. None of my brothers passed. They tried. And then I went to Bainbridge, Melbourne. From there, I went to Shebeck, California. And then I pulled Pearl Harbor, and that's my job on the ship. Have on the ship. When did you, did you go to Pearl Harbor, I'm assuming, like, after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor? You were, you were in Pearl Harbor after? After, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when, when the attack pulled up, when the ship wasn't was we, built. Yeah, wasn't right. built. Yeah, sure, sure. Mm-hmm. What, what kind of a... Can you talk about some of the people that you served with on, on the in New Jersey? Mm-hmm. Like some of the how many black sailors were on the on the New Jersey? Oh, it wasn't over about 35, 40 of us. Did you see discrimination in the Navy against black people? No. I didn't I didn't see, I didn't see. seen a lot of that though. <laughs> so going into the Navy was a lot different than, yeah, from the Army. From the Army or even from being in that Yeah. Okay. Did you have any friends who were white? Huh? Did you have any friends who were white in the Navy? In the Navy? Yeah, did you have any white friends? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it one of the but, first but, times? But, but, but usually you don't have, you have, you don't have much time to, to do Cause you, when I'm when I'm on, when I'm off duty, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know when I'm not shooting when you just, when you get through shooting gone when I get to I, I was feeding the anti aircraft gun you see so when I get through with that I got to go back to my job feed the officers and stuff like that so you don't have much time to socialize. Mm-hmm. You you, said you you remember Dory Miller? I remember reading about him. Oh, you read about him. Okay. Yeah, that, that, was that was a pull of That was a pull of Okay. Oh, he's at another place. And you were that, that was when the boy, that's how the world started. He was, he, he was, that, he was on, you know, that's in Pearl Harbor. Yes, but see, we didn't, we didn't start a fight until the lie went in, until around two years after, after the war. We had nothing to fight with. Well, you know, you were in the so, Mr. Murray, you were in the Navy, you were on the New Jersey, uh, you saw a lot of action, you were in, in a lot of battles. Mm-hmm. What, when did you come back to Natchez? I, I came back in uh, 46. All of these black people who fought in the war, hundreds of thousands, uh-huh. were in the Navy, the Army, the Marines, the Army Air Corps, Deployed overseas, black people fought in the Pacific, black people fought in Europe. <coughs> so when you came back to the United States, um, what were the conditions like in terms of civil rights after all this, these fights? And worse than where you live. Even worse? Yeah. How, how were they worse? Well, because the job I was on, I was at, I was at, when I left, I was at a wholesale grocery. And uh, when I got back, the shipping clerk just didn't like me because I had been overseas, I guess. And one day he said something. He, he, uh, he jumped on me, hit me. He hadn't even hit me, tried to choke me. Because I, I used to box on the ship, you know, I was a pretty good boxer. So I, 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 I was glad he did it, you know. So I just pounded him a little bit. You know. So he, he said, I was, well, he wouldn't did it before the war, wouldn't, probably wouldn't have thought of doing that. 
because the boss fired both of us. Really? <laughs> wow. But I, I walked down the street, I, I walked down the street within two blocks, I ended up working again. Wow. I was on another job. So, you know. It sounds a lot like, you know, at World War One. thinking back even earlier, mm -hmm. when a lot of black men came back from World War One. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of them were even, you know, lynched. Yeah. Wearing their uniforms. Oh, I, I, I left you. Uh, after all that happened, I left my Chicago and stayed up there about a year. It was worse, it was worse, worse after the war than it was before the war. Because, do you think, in part, it was worse because white people were angry that black people had served in the military? And, and well, when the black people got, had, had, well, they had little freedom in the, in the service, you know. And yeah. They didn't have none, and then come back home, they had none, you know. So the white, the white power structure, white people are trying to keep things the same, yeah, uh -huh. even though you were a different person now. That's right. So when I left, I stayed a long time. I stayed about a year. Close by, and then, I got, then, I got, then after I got back, I couldn't get along with my first wife. So I left. I'm just kind of wondering, why on earth would you come back to, to Natchez? Oh, uh, I guess go home. Uh, I say I didn't like Chicago for one reason. I do, but when you uh, when you're a small town, you don't like you don't, don't like big cities. So uh, I stayed in Missouri a while. I stayed in Missouri about six months. Cape Girardeau. You ever been to Cape Girardeau? Cape Girardeau, yeah. Mm -hmm. Poplar Bluff. Yeah. Girardeau, yes, yeah. sir. Okay. And uh, I came on back and. Things worked out all right. Well, Mr. Murray, you, 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 for the record, uh, you said something about a shooting range that, that the deacon used to go with near the house where you were. Could yeah. You, you know the address of that house? I can take you there. No, we, I don't think we're going to have time to go there because we got another interview coming up. But what, uh, what, what was the address? Can you think of Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's easy. You, you're on the Zeke Land, it's he know. You know where I used to stay, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. The house is still there where you used to stay. The second house going in. That's uh. Because. Six. Uh, uh huh. What, what's your house street number? Six. The six. second. You know, because you know the bit that wasn't many houses down there. Then the place. Liz lived in the first. Yeah, but it wasn't there. You know when I moved. Right. Right. They right. built it later. But it was you built that before I left though. But but when I was here, they were just building it when I moved down. Wasn't many houses down there I could do it, man. Okay. So you say number six, Elbow Number six. Or the, I'm not Elbow Number six. When you when you turn in, oh, yeah. you know what? You turn it off of, to go in the uh -huh. you, when, when, road, second house on the right. Okay. Okay. Second house on the right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. do, do you have any questions? No. About uh, the interview and everything. No, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. But but anything about history you want to know, I can tell you. Well, let's go mm -hmm. back to the, to the uh, shooting range for a minute. What what ha what was going on there? Well, it wasn't exactly a shooting range. We just go in my backyard and practice. Go in your backyard and practice. Yeah, probably like a shooting range. Yeah, uh, we'll a practice see. in the backyard. Yeah, shooting canes. So, so we were yeah. so, cause you don't want you don't want to go out there and can't shoot. <laughs> you want to be able to hit what you shoot at. So you mm -hmm. shoot at cans, uh -huh. bottles? No, not bottles, bottles yes. scattered. Shoot cans all the time. Yeah, bottles scattered, glass all over my yard, I don't know what that. With <laughs> rifles? And did you shoot with pistols too? Oh yeah, okay. that's the main thing. I, 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 was, I like to shoot pistols, I could shoot the pistols good. You could strike a match with a pistol? No, I killed squirrel. I used to kill squirrel with my pistol. Of course he was standing still, he wasn't jumping through trees. Mr. Murray, so the deacons would do this to stay in practice, keep uh -huh. your, your skills up, right? What's that? The deacons would practice the shooting to keep their, their marksmanship. Yes, right. Uh -huh. Like a policeman. Because yeah. if you stop practicing, you get out of practice. That's right. Yeah, you need to do it every, so we, so we go down. And then, you know, they don't want you to shoot. You can't shoot like that in the county. Now they wouldn't want you to do that. But then, that, them days, it was things so much different. But the, but like but I always got along pretty good with the people though, with the clans. 
Because I got to get out there and get that house that I, down in Linwood where we had. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I didn't have but $200, and I, I went to, to, to Lawson. You know Lawson? You heard of Lawson? Oh, yeah. From the grocery okay. store? Okay. I went to his son. He, Mother, I ain't got it. He said, but I co-signed for your bank to get it. They treated me good. Because like I say, I always work with rich folks. I work with Callums, Big Lands, Carpenters, Nelson. And Nelson was the mayor here. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Doing the oh, show, right? Um, but, but he's saying he worked for the rich white folks. Yeah. He didn't work for no poor white folks. No. The poor white folks trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what about, about, we, we found out last night that the deacons in Yellenboro would not, when they go to their meetings and plan their, their uh, business, they couldn't uh, come home and tell their wives. No, no well, yeah. Or their girlfriends. Oh, I, 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 could, my wife was, she bought me that, my, that, that rifle. I could, well, they were thinking that because they worked for the in the kitchen, oh, for yeah. the white women, that the white women would try to talk to them and get uh, get get some of the secrets out. Well, of them. my wife didn't work in no kitchen, so she, I wouldn't worry about that. And she was she was. Well, let me do this. How was the women? Were there any women in the deacons? Yeah, the deacons. No. No, uh -uh, uh -uh. no women. No women. No women. Any no. women helping you? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, were there the women that, that would go after other women who, who, who went shopping when the boy copied? Nope, we did all that. Okay. See, we, we, like I say, we had a lot, lot to do, it kept us busy. Okay. Because a lot of, you know, it wasn't too, you know, it wasn't, wasn't too many stores, because you know, the little stores had closed down. Mm -hmm. you know. Whose grocery did you take? Was did there, you, can you remember taking anybody's grocery? Take them, take them. Taking mean? the grocery from them? If they, were, if they went in the store? Yeah, yeah me. Yeah, you remember one in time? Yeah. Uh, Can yeah. you remember one of them time? Yeah, I remember a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, see, we had to do that. Okay. When that boy, the boy got work, though. Okay. We got a lot of concessions by, 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 by the boy. So, but so, to get the boy got all called off. Okay, so, but so see, that, that was the NAACP. Mm. But then we... That's helping the NWPP and helping out the cause too. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the, 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 the third component, of, uh, one of the three components, the boycott and the enforcement of the boycott. Yeah, we, we, we see the NWPP wasn't going to These are the tactics that, that uh, uh, are used to win civil rights. Kind of Since we had the men and the, and, and the guns, we enforced it. See, everybody didn't know what the other group. There was a group of women here uh, that that also went to stop people from shopping. Yeah, well, but everybody they, didn't know what everybody else was doing. That's right, and okay. and then the fact is, it was just you didn't have to join an organization. Then just black people worked together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to belong to nothing. They would, you know, do the do the right thing. A lot of them would, you know. Mr. Murray, huh? Uh, would you say that? Natchez branch of the NAACP was non-violent. The NAACP, yeah, it was, but we wasn't. But we were, <laughs> but we were, no non-violent. But that's what I'm saying. We were just, we were all, we were NAACP, but we had, it was just, it actually, it was just a branch of the NAACP. Really. I, I, I wonder if the question is, is, is you know, the idea of using that term, non-violent. What, uh, what, what we did, that's, that's just a national thing to make it look sound good. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> you the, know. The, the idea, they say, we will shoot back. Is, is that is that the, what the Dickens was about? We would shoot back? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, we'd shoot back. And we and, 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 and like I said, we, and we'll, well, we guard you. Like I said, we guard you. We're going to shoot. And a lot of times we'd attack first, you know, but he really didn't do it often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he said something down some places I think that the, the deacons did attack a lot first, but we didn't. We, as a rule, we didn't. But but if we if they, we had noticed old white man that did something bad to some black folks, you know what I mean? And we knew who he was, then we might like a caller, we knew who he was. But you're a special member of the deacon, unlike a lot of other deacons that we've interviewed. 
uh, you working for these whites in their times of meetings and boycotts and action that you couldn't go because you're on a farm supervising all these all these employees, uh -huh. but you still was able to provide some some service and do some duties for the deacon. Yeah, you know, still was an active member. Yeah, you know, was was an action member. Uh -huh. of the deacon. You you a different kind of breed. And the and the, and the, <laughs> personally. Yeah, the others would they'd get fired, you know. But my boss Mr. Carver don't fire me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You remember Hugh Ransom? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. they, they had a joke about Hugh Ransom. <laughs> he had an old pistol that if you held it up like that, it, it wouldn't hold but one bullet and the bullet would fall out. <laughs> You know, I didn't. I didn't. We didn't want no. We didn't want no piece of piece of guns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I, pips like a, a, a cowboy host. I still got my host back there. What, what kind of rifles did you have? Huh? What kind of? Uh, you mentioned you carried high power rifles. What huh? what kind of rifles did you? Have? I thirty cam. I used thirty cam. So you had thirty thirty. With thirty thirty round clip. Yeah, I and, had and my, to bring a picture of that. I gave it to him. Yeah, I had planned, I had planned <laughs> to bring a picture of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got a picture of that? Yeah, oh, we, we, we saw it this morning on, on the on the on jump drive. Yeah, uh -huh. I got pictures of it. Yeah. What, where he's handing the, ever took the picture. Mm -hmm. He's got the negative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that might be interesting to shoot onto this DV, onto this interview. If you could shoot the pictures with him given to Barbara Hicks of Bogalusa as yeah. his weapons to go into the museum, the Deacon for Defense Museum. Or you could pull it off the jump drive, maybe later, and, and add it to the. This goes with the gentleman we interviewed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, my wife was 100% back me. She sounds like a, a remarkable woman. It's been going on with about know, seven years. Did, did she let she me get, be by myself. Did she get arrested and go to Parkland? No, indeed. I, I, I don't think I, I think I went up there and got her. No, your wife? Uh-uh. Okay. She, we, you know, like I say, most of us younger people. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Young people. Doing on the marches, you know. Well, mm -hmm. Mr. Murray, we've taken up a yeah. lot of your, your time, but I um, wanted to ask you just, if it's okay, a few more questions. Yeah, clear. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them um, is, as an organizer, thinking about all the problems that, that, that people still have to deal with today, um, like how, what kind of advice do you, would you give to, to young organizers who are trying to create a change today? The main thing now is vote, voting. Voting. Mm -hmm. Voting. Voting. Oh. Uh, everybody ought to vote. And uh, and uh, and suppose the young young black people they are. In fact, what the, the, the governor let everybody serve two years of the service. So two years in the military. Yeah. And uh, but suppose. Uh, Civil rights now, another problem, new kind. If I go, I can go to the bank and get anything I need. Ain't like it like it used to be. They treat me just fine. Do then, you have any advice for, for, for the young people? Today? Yeah, that's what I say. Vote, vote, vote is the most and, important. and education. Education. And staying out of jail. Don't get in trouble. And that's easy. And, and respect everybody. Give everybody respect. Everybody do respect. Care who he is or where he come from or where. If he come out of jail or if he or just walk out of jail, he just do the just do us respect the President Trump, the President uh, Trump. Deacon last night said. Uh... He would like to see the Dickens organization created again among the young people. No, I don't. I, I wouldn't want to do that. 
I wouldn't want that. I don't think we need that. No, we shouldn't do that. That's dividing people more. We should try to work together now. Versus. Well, that's what he was saying. He would like to see, as an organization, to bring people. He would like to see young people organize a, a deacon organization that would be on go 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 to the that would be national and help each other out. Uh, you know, build, I, build I, progress. I don't think that's a good idea. You 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 you, you wouldn't. I don't, not I, what you have. I don't think. I don't think organizations helps. I don't like a like, like we'd be bad as it comes to the, the group because we're gonna get a group like we had. That that would make no sense. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's unnecessary right now. Because you got rights you don't want you you don't even use. A lot of you they can go vote, a lot of them don't even do that. They don't use the, the right they got. And, uh, and if you do that, uh, that, that, that divides people. The more clubs you, more, you know, organizations you get, you know, uh, groups, on uh, different color groups, like get a Mexican group, that, that, that's not dividing people. Just don't do that. Are you still a member of the NAACP? Don't need it. I don't think we need it. You don't think we need the NAACP? Mm -mm. Uh, I don't. I don't see what we need. I don't see. No, I just don't see where. Because me, like I said, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't see why the white man treat me no different from nobody else. That's your personal stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was black when you, just like when you, when you before you became a deacon. Huh. The white man, uh, you were personally working along and getting living your own life. Yeah. But until the until you wanted to vote. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Until you wanted something. Yeah. And that made you start fighting for it. But now you can get the things that I was fighting mm -hmm. for. You can get all these things. Mm -hmm. You can get jobs as a police force. You can be mayor. You can be okay. judge. You can be. It's up to you to how to carry yourself these days. So you carry yourself in the right direction, you'll be all right. But it's essentially what he said, do something for self. That's what he would uh, mm. would, would uh, at, advise young people today. Do something for self. That's right. Do something yourself. You you don't need to ask other people for that, it. That's right. Be, okay. So uh, you agree with that? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Let me clarify. And that. carry yourself yeah. in the right right way so you won't have them problems. Like my nephew came by the other night with me to co sign with him to get a house. That's stupid. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> you know, he he, he 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 and he say he make twice the money I make. What do you need me for? You, you, you should have be a hundred if you do that. Money. See, he made so much thousand dollars, so much money last, and he don't have none now. <laughs> I never made no five dollars hour waiting for nobody. You know, waiting for no. Waiting for nobody, because I wait for myself. Some, you know, but I, I, I said, but wait for nobody. And I don't have no money problem. You got, you got, it's how you carry yourself. You can, you can you, it's, it's up to you. No, the white man ain't holding you back now. You're holding yourself back. By it's doing true. the, by not doing the right thing. Throwing your money away, spend it, then, People get money, they think, oh, well, I've got to spend this bond to hang to get rid of it. If I get someone's bond my hand to get to the bank. So so you 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 will become ninety-nine years of it, uh, of, of age come uh, October the ninth. October the ninth. What did, what, what, did, what did the doctor say you've been doing to keep he, get, he said he didn't well? he told me he didn't know. He you said, I don't know eat. I don't know what the deal is, but but he said, I don't know what they did, I don't know what to tell you. He said, but just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I said, you're the doctor, you're supposed to tell me what to do. I don't take much medicine. I take, a, I take 10 millimeter, of, uh, 10, 10 gram uh, blood pressure pill, an uh, aspirin, and a vitamin, and a, and a heartburn pill. That's all I take. I take my medicine. Wow. Oh, and that's, 
most of that over the counter. And you drive now? You cut grass? Oh, that's o oh, that's all oh, that's over the counter. You mm -hmm. do all kinds of work now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and over the counter, you don't have no prescriptions. Huh? You don't have no prescriptions, but you. Doctor prescriptions, medicine. Oh, uh, um, I ain't take no. I don't. You don't take much medicine. Mm -mm. I just told you them too. What you eat? Huh? What do you eat? I most like vegetables. I don't eat, I don't like much meat. Okay. Mm. And and you cook it for yourself. Yeah. Okay. And eat and eat what the main thing is in life, eat what you what your taste calls for. But when you go to the cafe, you eat anything they got. And I think eating what you what you want what you what your taste calls for. I, and I eat just what I want. If I whatever I want to have fix it. And in fact my wife would do because she didn't do much cooking. She made me do it. But I cook what I want. But when you eat anything, whether you want it or not, it's like, what's the high animals live? How do you think they get get sick, get well? They it's the same thing they they call when they go eat it. You see a cat go eat grass? Why do you think he do that? He's he kinda his his body calls for him to do that. He, but he don't eat it all the time, but he eats when he got a taste for it. But that, they do that too. Keep the body going. Mr. Murray, what did you think about? Um, I noticed that mm -hmm. Nacho's just had you know, a big election. Um, what do you think about the outcome of the election? The election? I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay. You don't know what happened? So, so, last night? I don't know who won or who didn't. You vote yesterday? Mm -mm. Too many. I, I didn't go. There's too many people to be to worry about. I, I vote the next one. Too many people on running? Yeah, too many people. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You know, I was voted yesterday, and uh, using that machine, when you get ready to, to, to mm -hmm. the machine will ask you, is this who you voted for? Mm -hmm. It was a bit like, like a big game or something. Yeah. I said, you know. Too confusing. This would be confusing to people. Yeah, uh -huh. That's what I was telling them yesterday. I knew it was going to be that way. so Because I, I had I to stop and look at it and try to figure it out. And I said, wow, for other people, this is going to be confusing. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, I, I knew it was going to be that. Just the way you mark your ballot and all that. Yeah. The way it looked. Uh, it looked like it's too many. It's problem. too many of them. Yeah. It, ought, it ought to be so you don't have just so many. Okay. You know, it's just too many on there. So now next time, I'll vote next time. In the general election? Yeah. Okay. Well, not the general, uh, yeah. Yeah, what? you wait till the primary eliminated yeah. some of Yeah, that's right. And yeah. there'll be less people. Uh -huh. So you'll vote in the general election. That's right. I see. Uh -huh. strategy. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry your mind with all that's right. people. That's right. Let's see who wins the primary. <laughs> and now we got some another, And another thing you don't know either about me, something you don't know about me, you wouldn't believe it. What is it? I don't believe in getting on your knees praying. I don't believe in praying. I don't pray for nothing. Oh, wow. I'll go with you on that. Praying against nothing but so neat. Get up off your knees and go work and make you some money. Oh. That's what Malcolm X used to say. Praying is, right? And people tell me, and when they go to church, they're going to tell you about it happened 10,000 years ago. And I tell them, that wasn't my problem. I wasn't here. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> what? That's all they talk about, what Joe did, do. I can understand that. Now, what that's got to do with me? <laughs> right on. Yeah, we used to say, I keep telling really? people what we used to say yesterday, right on. They, they cool, now. right on. <laughs> but if prayer would help you, we would not any time about God do, take care of everything. Now, he wouldn't let the, he wouldn't let, he wouldn't let the little baby get killed and murdered. And he wouldn't do that. So but that can be true. It's more lies in the Bible than it is in the book in the world. You don't believe it, but it is. Got to leave that light. It's coming down. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to throw a little bit. Say, thou shalt not kill. But you'll understand why anyway, you kill so many people. Hello? You don't want that. Mr. Murray, uh -huh. what about your president today? He, he, he's that's the worst president we ever had, oh. and we can never get another that crazy. Wow. Really, we're gonna never. He ain't gonna be elected either. 
He is he just not right. Okay. That's your president. Yeah, but he tried to divide people. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to try to get people together. And make, mm -hmm. make them, and like I say, El Paso, less crime in El Paso than it is in the city of New York. And, 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 and he talked about the Mexican steel on going real. How come less crime than it is in Detroit and other places? Mm. Mexican people, I, I, I haven't worked with them. They, they're not mean people, they're good people. Trump hates them. No. He gets votes. You know, every time he attacks Mexicans, he gets five million more votes. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to do that. Like I say, you don't want to hate nobody, you just want to treat everybody with respect. But doesn't, doesn't the Bible teach that? No, they don't. When you go to church, they ain't going to talk about this. They're going to talk about something 10,000 years ago. <laughs> I, I, I had nothing to do with that. I went into my great great grandfather. And that's all they're going to tell you about. My right daddy was on, a preacher. Right Your father was a preacher? Mm -hmm. My brother. I, 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 but I, I, I send money to the church. I donate them to church. I donate money to them, but, I, but if they won't see it that way. Go ahead. That's fine with me. That, that's, that's the kind of place I am. Um, <laughs> talk about something <laughs> What do I got to do with it? Right on, right on. I don't have nothing to do with it. Yesterday ain't no good. Yesterday's gone. Well, it's, it seems to me that was the philosophy of, of um, the deacons. You know, you can't wait for God to sort it out. You got to take that's, care of it. That's right. You got to do it by yourself. Do the right thing yourself. You, they, 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 get up off your knees I, and learn how to defend yourself. Well, a lot of a lot of things in the Bible is right, and a lot of things ain't nothing, it ain't nothing to it. These people trying to kill you and burn a cross and lynching you say, wait on God. Yeah, no, indeed. You better, you better hope you're gone. No backfire, no, no, no back. Hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm X used to say, um, you need to keep your religion in the closet because it hasn't done anything more for you by now. It belongs in the closet. Well, Mr. No, 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 and here I don't, I mean, I'm thinking about tomorrow, I need some milk from the baby. So, so what good is it being to go there and talk about what Job did? I don't care about Job. I don't know, I don't know if it was a Job, I couldn't have been lying, I don't know. But what, that, that, that to me just don't make sense. You make sense to you? The Job story never was very compelling to me. Uh, <laughs> Not Job, any of all of them. Or Noah, or any of the others, yeah, kind of, you know. After a while, though, I guess for kids, if, if adults constantly bombard you with that. See, when I was a kid, um, they would say, you did believe you're going to go to hell. So when I, for a little kid, that was kind of scary. So I'm like, well, I'm going to believe, mm -hmm. you know. But then as I got older, I realized adults would say those things to just make you fall in line. Yeah, that's right. Keep you doing, the, doing what they want you to do. Which is... Exactly. Yeah, I got baptized when I was about seven or eight years old, and people said, it's a miracle Paul got baptized. And I thought, even then, no, I just don't want to, like, burn a lake of fire. Oh, they tell me about it. Go there, going to stick him with a fork. devil going to stick him with a fork. I said, no, I'll take it fork and stick him in this book. <laughs> I, I think we should go ahead and wrap up. I mean, unless there's other things you want to share with us. Cause we're, we're oh, I appreciate y'all coming by. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And thank you for your service. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay. Appreciate it.
I think, well, no. I think we want to take some photographs with you. Well, okay. well, like I said, when we go overseas, doing the praying people, that some of my, my, my fellow men was praying and going on that night. I said, like, what the hell are you praying for? You better, you better get, your, get your gun out there and be sure that show you that gun up there, shoot them planes down when you put them shells in there. You better get off your knees and start shooting those planes. Yeah. Well, Mr. Murray. Mm -hmm. huh? I, I've been asking you for years, and I was afraid uh, it, you wouldn't be around to get this interview done, so we finally got it done. Yeah. It's a question of whether I would be around. <laughs> but you're going on to 99. <laughs> but we finally got it done. Yeah. Mr. Levi Murray, Natchez Deacon, can you at this time deposit, make a donation of your archive for the Robert Hicks Foundation and Museum to the Barbara Hicks yes. at this minute? Yes. So she can start the meeting the way her father started the meeting? Yes, sir. Okay. And you, uh, do you need me, uh, somebody else to hold? Why don't you hold it? You brought it so far. Okay. Okay, it's behind you there. Yeah. Okay, would, would you stand at the hit? This, this is for the uh, camera as well. Especially for the camera. Oh, you know what it is. Yeah. This is the bottom. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, and, and, and a few fans were drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Justice. 
I hereby start the meeting. And Daddy said, that's the way it's okay. done.